bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Woo! Bring them out, 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 bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Welcome to Truth For Youth, talking all grown up with your host, Miss Sherry, and co-hosts, Miss Shalanda and Dominique. Welcome to Faces of Success Radio 101 FM, Truth For Youth, talking all grown up. I'm Miss Sherry with my co-host, Miss Shalanda. Hey, how you doing? Hey. We are talking about global awareness as far as our menstrual cycle. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to reach all the women out there to find out exactly what their issues are with their menstruation cycle. We have a very special guest um, that's going to be on the show today, and she's all the way from India. Can you believe, how did you contact somebody from India? I'm interested to know what it is that they do, you know? Well, we... Actually, she has a page on Facebook. Oh, okay. And so we're kind of in the same lines of work. She, um, I think they use cups, the menstrual cups out there and cloth pads out there versus what we use here in the United States. So I thought wow. that was, would be a really good show to find out exactly what issues they have over there and, and what could we do over here to help them and what could they do over there to help us. So I thought... Um, and, and you're good with pronouncing names. I'm not that good. And yes. So how do you pronounce her name? <laughs> it's Priyanka. Priyanka. And yes. Priyanka is from where? Uh, New Delhi, India. Yes. 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 Let's I'm get ready to talk to her yeah, and find out about these cups. I know. That's I, interesting. That is so interesting. <laughs> and you know what? I haven't seen those cups anywhere in like target or walmart have you no not at all no i don't do they have cups out I, here in the u.s uh, we need to look that we up. really need to look that yeah up. yeah we let's really find out let's that find up. out so we would like to welcome you priyanka to the show and priyanka is calling all the way from new delhi india welcome to the show priyanka hi priyanka hi guys thanks for having me here you are so welcome how are you doing I'm good. How are you? We are doing amazing. Well, this is going to be a really good show because over here in the United States, we have a lot of feminine companies such as um, Tampex, Always, uh, Kotex, Kotex, Playtex. And so those are some of the um, companies that we use. Um, over here in the United States. And as I'm looking at your website, you guys use a lot of cloth pads. Can you tell us a little bit more about your cloth pads? So uh, traditionally in India, like my mom and my grandparents, everyone used to use regular cloths for their uh, sanitary protection, which was they'll just make it at home, cut any piece of cloth and use it. But then uh, that didn't work very well because, of course, it used to move around in their underwear, right? They could fix it nicely and then it used to leak, they would get stains. And then, actually, um, a lot of companies like you are talking about Cortex and Tampax and stuff, they came to India and people started using disposable pads. But recently, a lot of the NGOs, they've started making pads out of cloth. So they look similar to sanitary pads. They have wings and they can be, you know, stuck onto the underwear properly. But they are, even in India, they are not as popular now. There are still people who use their traditional cloths, but they are facing problems with those. So we are now introducing these cloth pads to people to replace cloth or to replace the pads. And uh, they come with layers of uh, cotton cloth inside. So to avoid all the plastics and the chemicals that are going in our regular sanitary napkins or tampons, which are not good for the health or the environment, we can completely replace that much plastic and use these cloth pads. Priyanka, you know, that's really interesting. Um, Like over in the U.S., we use, of course, disposable pads. How do you guys like clean them? How do you guys, is it reusable? How, How does that work? Yeah, so these are all reusable. We have to wash them 
and that is actually the biggest uh, challenge i face to convince somebody to you know leave disposables and start using cloth pads because they say oh i don't want to wash it but uh, it's a matter of just a few days once you do that you get used to it because the thought of washing your menstrual blood sometimes eats people out and you know they are not sure if they want to do it or not but mm-hmm. once you tell them it's your own blood and it's healthy it's a healthy phenomenon of the body and you know you want to be able to get pregnant that's why you are getting that menstrual fluid so and once you do it it's um, you get used to it it's not bad at all in fact uh, with sanitary pads after like 6 7 hours they start smelling really bad because your blood reacts with all the chemicals in there and it starts to stink but when you're using cloth it doesn't actually smell that bad so you realize something good about your body that you know your menstrual blood is not stinking and they are very easy to wash um the designs are really good they've done a lot of research on what material should be used so the kind of cotton cloth they are using it washes off really well and easily you just run it under cold water and most of your fluid comes off and after that you can just wash it in washing machine with your other clothes or hand wash it so it's not a difficult thing at all well it definitely would save money yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean it sounds it's definitely going to save a lot of money because you can use each pad to at le- for at least 70 to 80 times oh wow and wow. they are uh, a lot more comfortable i have had a lot of women complaining that you know they get rashes with sanitary pads yeah so uh, this that problem is totally solved when you are using cloth pads they are really soft and comfortable you don't get rashes at all so what about um the absorb how does it absorb like does it so they all have different uh, layers inside them depending on the size so you can choose a smaller or a thinner size for light flow and you can take a thicker pad for heavy flow then some of them are shorter they are longer so they come in a lot of like seven eight different sizes and you can choose according to the flow and the heavy pads they usually have different kinds of layers so they have one layer of plastic inside that acts as a leak proof layer and then they'll have 6 to 7 layers of cotton cloth which is very good absorbing material now do you how often do you change it because i know with um the disposable ones here um personally for myself i would change every time i went to the bathroom so do you guys change them every time you go to the bathroom or do you wait until it absorbs a certain amount of blood before you change it when do you know it's a good time to change it see the uh, best time to change you figure out after one or two cycles because you know uh, you only can guess that on my light flow day a smaller pad can last me 4 to 5 hours on my heavy flow day the big pad if i use it that lasts me 6 to 7 hours Wow. Uh wow. and again it depends some of them like most of them are as good as disposables so the number of hours they last is similar to that and depending on what size also you have picked up uh some can actually last longer than disposables also so but i'll say on an average 4 to 7 hours and you should change it every 7 hours anyway Oh yeah that that yeah that that's about sense. normal yeah, yeah yeah Priyanka that's really interesting and i mean I'm just fascinated over the fact that you guys um have cloth pads and I'm just interested in knowing have has it been brought over to the US in any type of way um They are already there in the US as well actually mm-hmm. um in both the countries and I think in Europe and all over the world they have been around for at least 4 uh, 5 years now mm-hmm. but um, they are not very popular and also because like you said it saves a lot of money so even people who are making and selling them it's a very low profit business because you know you buy a set of 10 pads and you are sorted for 3 4 years you don't need to buy them again you said 3 or 4 so years so they don't have yes because uh, each pad can last you 70 or 80 washes oh wow so if you buy a set of 10 to 15 pads you are sorted for 3 years That's or maybe more a money on, you know how Yeah. So it's a very um, low money making business so people are not really able to you know do a lot of advertising. So they are not very popular. 
and the second reason is that you have to wash it so even if somebody finds out about them they are not very you know easily converted or willing to try it out and sometimes there are people who ask me for free samples and i just tell them i'm sorry i can't because you know yes a big company multinational company who selling millions of sanitary pads they can give out free samples and you know you can try it and then you will buy thousands of them in the rest of your life yeah but for me if i give you free cloth pads you are sorted for 3 4 years you're not going to come back and buy it again <laughs> <laughs> so those kind of uh, those kind of marketing things are not possible and that's why these are not yet uh, very popular that's interesting and i think in the us um, there's lady pad uh, then there's luna pad and there's even things panties which we are really wanting to have something similar in india now have you heard of things panties no um explain what that is so, so it's like a normal underwear you know it just looks like a normal panty and it has some really cool absorbent patented material inside it so you can just wear it during your period days and it's going to absorb all your menstrual fluid and yes again depending on the flow you get different uh, styles in the panty also for your light flow for your heavy flow and you will have to change it around i have not used it yet so but again it's similar to cloth pads so you will have to change the panty every 4 to 6 hours i think mm-hmm. and that's all you need to wear you can also wear it as a backup to a tampon or your light ones but uh, our whole idea is actually to tell people that you know there is a lot of harmful chemicals that go into pads and tampons which are not good for the environment and our health so we can do away with these totally and you know switch to either menstrual cups or these panties or cloth pads uh, yeah um that was going to be my next question um about your menstrual cup cuz we don't have yeah. that i mean if we do have it here in the united states i haven't seen it um but i have learned more about it on your Facebook page and can you share your Facebook page with everyone so they can find it Sure so there are a couple of pages uh, mine is called hygieneandyou.com so hygiene as in personal hygiene and and y o u and then there's another uh, page called menstrual cups cloth pads where you can see photographs of all different kinds of cups and the pads and uh, on my website which is also called hygieneandyou.com we have uh, blogs we have videos so you can actually see a video in different kinds of cups that are available how to use it and uh, there's videos on cloth pads also showing different sizes and different types of cloth pads so these days there's a very good uh, variety available in terms of what kind of pads we want to use and stuff now what the- and even uh, menstrual cups they were actually they've been around in the US for over 25 years now but really? the same reason like i said for cloth pads it's a very uh, low profit making business so <laughs> there's not a lot of advertisements and i think in US the oldest cup is probably the diva cup and uh, but we don't have that in india in india we have uh, she cup we have um, v cup we have alex cup and then we have some imported from uk and europe as well so me luna and moon cup we have a pretty good variety available now because everybody is different people need different sizes so we try and make all of them available so adding five six different brands really help to cater all audiences is it a, is it comfortable to wear um because i've never they are very comfortable yeah um just just the look of it sometimes you feel that it's a little bigger than tampon so how are you going to insert it and stuff but uh, they are made of medical grade silicon it's a um, you know material similar to a baby bottle nipple uh-huh. so you know how soft and malleable it is so you can just hold it fold it and insert it and it opens up when you insert it and then it collects your flow So with tampons actually I find them a little uncomfortable because they are very stiff. You can't change the shape, right? So once you wear it and it absorbs the blood, it becomes a little bigger. 
so for me i could feel it all day that i am wearing something but when you wear a cup it's so flexible it takes the shape of your body you know the way your if you are sitting standing if your muscles inside are bending the cup just takes the shape of your muscles or the body internally so you actually don't feel it at all that you're wearing anything i have forgotten it once for like on my last floor day last day i just forgot that i was wearing it i forgot to take it out for two days it was that comfortable wow well leaving it in for two days i mean doesn't it have a you're not supposed to do that that's not very hygienic oh, you should okay. empty it every eight to ten hours oh okay and then um like when you're removing it does it spill everywhere or does because i noticed that there's like a little point on the end of it is do you pull that point as if it was a tampon string and it comes out um no that's just to help you find the cup because some women have a very high cervix and the cup can go a little deep okay so those uh, stems are there to help you locate where the cup is to take it out you're supposed to directly pinch the base of the cup what happens is when you wear it it uh, when you insert the cup it opens and it forms a seal with your vaginal walls so it doesn't leak but oh. when you want to remove it you should break that seal so when you hold the base of the cup and you pinch the base a uh, slight air enters the cup and the seal breaks and then you slightly just glide it out it doesn't spill but yes for beginners in the first 2 3 tries it can spill because you know you're not used to doing that and uh, you're not sure how to or what angle to take it out in so it might spill so i always recommend everyone that for your first entire cycle you wear it and take it out in inside the shower or maybe sitting on the toilet seat but sometimes people end up dropping the cup in the toilet seat so if a shower area is available that's the best option once you've done it for 2 3 days you'll know how to take it out and then it doesn't spill Um can you just share um your website where our listeners at Faces of Success Radio 101 FM this is Truth for Youth talking all grown up I miss Sherry and we're talking to um Priyanka all the way from India and we're talking about menstruation and how they deal with it there in India versus how we do here in the United States um so we just want you to just give out your website so the listeners can go on your website and actually see what we're talking about about the cups and the um cloth pads that you guys use there in India sure so the website is uh, www.hygieneandyou.com and it's so i'll just spell it out as well h y g i e n e a n d y o u.com So we have a lot of blogs and videos for viewers to see pads and cups and there's also a live chat if anybody's got a question um I'll be there to answer those questions on the website chat as well. All right, well Priyanka, we're going to go on break. We're not done talking to you. Stay tuned. This is Faces of Success Radio 101 FM Truth for Youth talking all grown up with Miss Sherry and Shalanda and we have Priyanka on the phone all the way from India. explaining the issues that they have with their menstrual cycle there in is in India. We'll be right back. Parents and teens. Welcome back to Faces of Success 101 FM Truth for Youth talking all grown up with Miss Sherry and Shalanda and Priyanka is on the line all the way from India Thanks. and Shalanda has more questions that um she's going to ask Priyanka about um the women and the issues that they deal with yes menstruation yes so priyanka um me and miss sherry both we deal with young women um over here in the US and um understanding yeah. that you're you're all the way in India i just was curious to know are the young girls allowed to continue their education while on their period how are they viewed when they start their period in india So it really depends on uh, different parts of India and you know whether you are in urban India or rural India but mostly throughout India nobody stops you from going to a school if you are on your periods but in rural areas the problem is that if the girls don't have access to sanitary protection they don't have pads that are going to last you that entire day of school then they end up missing school but it's not that uh, they're not allowed 
and especially like i live in new delhi which is the capital city so in all the big cities even in smaller towns uh, girls have access to disposable pads which are uh, quite affordable so they are able to attend school we do have uh, other myths around periods in india again that also depends on which part of india you are in but things like uh, people can tell you not to go to a temple if you are on your periods or wow. uh, not enter the kitchen so you know you don't even get to go inside the kitchen and touch food that everyone else is going to eat so maybe your mom will bring for food for you in your room and you're supposed to stay secluded and there are some parts of india where um, you're not supposed to touch some kind of plants they say they might the plant might die or the food might get rotten if you touch it wow um, well some of our myths are kind of crazy too it's like um if you go into the to the beach or something the shark is going to come get you you ever heard of that <laughs> no not at all <laughs> oh yeah i heard about that <laughs> yes that makes That's me nervous uh, definitely not something uh, people follow in india but i heard about that somewhere yes oh, gosh. yeah we have a, a and why do you think that is there a reason behind that well um, because they say that the sharks like the blood so if you in the in the ocean or at the beach and then the shark may smell the blood and then he may come and attack All you. Right. <laughs> That's interesting for right. me. <laughs> well, yeah. um so is that a fact or a myth? That's a myth. Definitely a myth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah or they say so if you go swimming and you have on a tampon you're going to soak up all the water. Yeah, they do. I heard that one now. <laughs> So I think menstrual cups solve both these problems. It won't soak up all the water, and it's not going to let the blood come out. So the shark is not going to attack you. Um, I was looking at um, a lot of your pictures, and I see that you go around and you you um, speak to a lot of the women there in India. What is your main topic that you speak about? Is it more to sell the product or to educate them on um, their hygiene? Um, it's a bit of both. So, uh, because mostly I am in uh, New Delhi, so in, and in bigger cities, uh, women are already using, the ones I deal with are already using disposable pads. And uh, so I want to tell them to go back to the roots where how i remind them that their grandmothers used to use cloth mm -hmm. so um and then they do have a question of cloth was unhygienic and we don't want to use it so we talk about menstrual hygiene and then i also introduce them and I tell them about all the ill effects of sanitary pads and tampons that they are having on our health and the environment and then uh, i introduce them to cloth pads and menstrual cups it's, um, it, I think even they are as shocked as you are because they're also hearing about these things for the first time and it, the sessions really help and I can actually show them a cup, they can feel it and stuff. So, but they take time. It's not, you know, the day I take the session, maybe after they take five, six months sometimes to, you know, get back to me and say, oh, I really want to try it now. And um, I had a question about, so is it harder to educate the adult women or the teenagers that have started for the first time? I think adult women I found were more difficult because they are already used to the comfort of disposable pads. Mm -hmm. And now when I say go back to the cloth and you need to wash it and they're just like, no, 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 I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to when you go to the young ones who've not even, you know, started their menstruation. I feel that, yes, at that point, when I give them this information, already tell them, okay, hey, you're going to start getting your period soon. These are all the options you have. Sanitary pads, you have cloth pads, and you have cups. I, cups, I don't recommend to that young girls. Maybe at least 15, 16-year-old 16 16 year girls should start probably using them. Mm -hmm. So the younger ones, I only suggest cloth pads. But because they're, they're not used to anything right now, so it's easy to tell them that, look, these are so much better for your health environment and money wise. Mm -hmm. So they are more open to that idea. So then you do a lot of workshops with teenage girls um, before they have their period? 
Uh, I would like to. I have not yet got a chance. Uh, that's actually the biggest challenge I have, uh, you know, in doing workshops. That menstruation is a taboo subject. So when I write to people that hey, I want to come and do a workshop, my emails usually just get ignored unless I know somebody there. So I am trying to uh, do workshops, and it's more wherever I get a chance, be it with a school or a college or an office. Or apartment buildings, I go and do it there. But most of my workshops have been for adults so far, or in colleges where girls are around twenty, twenty-one, eighteen year old. Um, but uh, I would, I, I really am trying to now uh, get into more with younger girls, so that you know, at that young age, we can tell them that cloth pads are uh, definitely a better option. Yeah, and I I agree too. It's always better to start with the younger girl before she starts her period. Yeah. Yeah, so that way she has an idea what to expect. Or actually her mind is more fresh to being um receptive of information, you know? Right, right, right. She's not already prone to a certain type of tradition or a certain thing, she's open to options. You know? What is something that we could do over in the U.S. to help support you and, w- and what you're trying to do, your goals for reaching out to more younger generation um, than the adults? What can we do? Um, to start with, this uh, conversation is very helpful because it's on air and I'm sure you'll have a lot of listeners who are listening to this. Um, at this stage, I feel uh, the best way to promote this Uh, sustainable uh, hygiene is uh, through just spreading awareness, be it through social media, be it through actual uh, live sessions online, your websites. India is, uh, like I said, very complex. So we have people speaking different languages. So I I sometimes find a problem there that, you know, uh, I know Hindi and English, but there are around 20 different languages in India. Wow. And so we are trying to now add languages on my website as well. Uh-huh, I've so, seen that. Uh, yeah, so, but so far we've started with six, but there's very little information in, you know, all of them. Maximum I have is English and Hindi. And uh, so that's a little bit of a roadblock for me. One thing I wanted to know was, is it hard for women to be entrepreneurs where you are? Um, well, it can be, but I'd say I've been very lucky in terms like if it's been hard, it's been hard because of the issue that I'm dealing with, you know, because nobody wants to talk about that issue. So wherever I go and people are like, oh my God, you want to talk about periods, just go away. But uh, <laughs> otherwise, just because I'm a woman or I'm in India, that those are not the things that have uh, made things difficult for me. Mm-hmm. I've had a very supportive family. My husband also uh, works with me on this. And now he can talk about menstrual cups better than I can. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, my parents, my in-laws, uh, everyone's been very supportive. So it's not that, you know, you're a woman, so you sit at home and cook food for us. So right. nobody's ever said that, said that to me. I am out all day working on this issue. And everybody's very supportive of that. You know, I've been working on All Grown Up for nine years, and I totally understand everything that you're saying, because in the beginning, nobody wanted to talk about periods, and I talk about periods all day long, and even to (laughs) some of the moms, they didn't even want to talk about it. When I go do focus groups, and I talk to the parents first to let them know, these are the things that I'm going to be talking about about with your daughters the first thing they do is I don't want to hear it I don't want to know that they're getting ready to start their period and I'm thinking no you do want to know because you want to make sure that you give them as much information that you can to prevent diseases to prevent pregnancy and you know and just to be a healthy teenager and I noticed on um your information you were talking about diseases and stuff now with the cups and things like that is it like easier to catch a disease or is it not no it's actually they are better in terms of uh, if you look at health also uh, cups and cloth pads both are a healthier alternative to your disposable pads um if you look at 
like a long term thing that you know i don't know how you've noticed these things in us or not but here i've definitely noticed that uh, problems like cancers diabetes bp blood pressure a lot of these things are have become a lot more common in the last 10 15 years as it used to be before that and the reason we figured out is you know a super increased use of chemicals in our daily lives so be that in our food and you know when food is growing the use of pesticides be it in sanitary pads be it in anything we are using then pollution around us and stuff so all these things are uh, adding uh, chemicals in our life and that's why diseases are just becoming more and more popular so that's a long term and a slow effect mm-hmm. and the faster effect of sanitary pads is things like rashes and itching and you know skin allergies that uh, women get so all these problems are solved by uh, menstrual cups and cloth pads they are totally natural materials and um, they are not releasing any toxins in the environment pads when being burned sometimes you know people incinerate them because they don't decompose for 5 or 800 years so people have started incinerating but when you incinerate then they release very toxic gases in the environment which is also very harmful for us so uh, all those problems are taken care by pads and cups and uh, i've been wearing menstrual cups since uh, 10 years now mm-hmm. and i've never had uh, any problems at all and i know few more people who've been wearing it for that long wow. and no problems no side effects yeah. That's really good. No side effects because we have here with the tampons. Well, you mentioned that you guys have tampons over there, so I'm sure that the toxic shock is um over there as well as it is over here. So that's one thing that I know the cup would not give you, right? Right. Right. That's why I'm going to try. Yeah, it won't see um I'll tell you the major difference. and why we get uh, tss with tampons is because they absorb menstrual fluid and uh, when they are absorbing it's uh, even the other parts of a tampon are in direct contact with your uh, vaginal muscles so a uh, uh, menstrual cup collects fluid and you know another healthy thing is that it's only going to collect whatever your uh, body is naturally shedding a tampon will absorb menstrual blood and it will absorb other uh, nutrients from the walls as well so and that's another plus point with the cup that, and it will not give you tss that is um that's a double plus point with the cup um and i know that we were only supposed to talk 20 minutes but this is so interesting um i know we went a little Great. over and yeah. i would love <laughs> to learn more about what you're doing um because i do have five more books that i'm coming out with and i would love to write a little bit in one of my books about you know the issues that you guys go through over there cuz this is a global issue this is not right a colorado issue or a california issue right. this is a woman's issue and then being able to just yeah. add the the um the cups and the cloth pad information in your book would be too good too you that know? Would, it that's very informative that would, i mean that is yeah. big to add that in my book because who wants to spend money like that <laughs> right i'm stuck on the money part <laughs> right and then that's something yeah. that i never yeah. knew about growing up myself so just having that information i mean i'm saving money and i'm learning <laughs> yeah this is good so this is yeah. sherry and shalando on faces of success 101 fm truth for youth talking all grown up and we're talking with priyanka all the way from New Delhi, India. That's right. And today's topic was just talking about the issues that women have um when we have our period or our menstruation cycle or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it, but yeah. this was really good information that Very I learned. Good. I mean, I thought <clears throat> excuse me, I thought I was the period queen with all grown up <laughs> and I thought I knew everything there is to know. But honestly, I am learning about cups and cloth pads by following Priyanka on Facebook. Yeah. That's how I knew and and I'm just so grateful that you took the time to come on our show to share yes. this information with us. It's and appreciated. If, if there's anything that we can do over here on our end to help support you 
by all means, I am for it. Yes, I'm gonna please reach out. I'm going to continue to follow you. I'm going to support what you do because I really like what you're doing. And I really just want to thank you for being on the show with thank us Thank you so much. It, all of your information that you shared with us and our guests was much needed information. And um, I think it'll take women to a different level as far as just saving money, because we know that's very important for, for a woman. And not even just <laughs> yeah. saving money, but just understanding the effects of it and how different the disposable ones are for the cloth pads and just avoiding and being, stds and, and being stuff, more you know? health healthier. yeah diseases and yeah. stuff yeah a and, lot cleaner. yeah there's a lot that um it sounds like it comes with the cloth as far as being healthy and you mentioned the um cancer and diabetes yeah. and blood pressure and all those issues that we have more pros and, than cons you know yeah and i'm sure with all these yeah. chemicals in the cotex and tampons probably is uh, some of those problems you know so I really appreciate you being on the show and would love to have you on the show again. Yes. Especially soon. after you try the, you're going to try the cup? Yeah, I'm going to try the cup, I'm girl. Gonna the cup. I'm going to try it. Well, you know, Priyanka, I'm going I'm <laughs> so to I'm gonna wait for both of your reviews. Yeah, I'm definitely going to write a review. Well, you know, I, I'll have to wait because <laughs> yeah. I'm going through menopause. So I have to, I'm pre-menopausal. So I'll have to wait till my period decides to come back. <laughs> And when it comes back again, then I'll get the cup. But I'm I'm premenopausal. In fact, you know, um, all the premenopausal women are very happy when they start using the cup because you know you yeah. don't need, you don't know when you're getting your period, so you just have a cup in your bag all the time. And there's oh, nothing wow. you need to worry about what size or what you know. It's just one cup and just keep it in the bag. Yeah, a cup and you're on ready cup. to use anytime. <laughs> and you know what? And you I usually have a tampon in my purse. But after eight months of waiting for it to come, that tampon has fell out of the package yeah. and it's all dirty. <laughs> Time to throw it away. Time yeah. to throw it away. Time to throw it away. <laughs> but the cut, though, you know, or even the cloth pads, I wouldn't have to throw it away right away. Yeah. Yeah. It lasts a long time, too. Yeah. Long time. yeah. Yeah. You can keep so that. If, yeah. if you can just one more time share your information on where everyone can find you. And if you can just tell them twice your website as well as your Facebook page. Um, so our listeners can find you. Sure. So both the names are exactly the same for my Facebook page and the website. It's uh, www.hygieneandyou.com. So I'll spell it. H-Y-G-I-E-N-E-A-N-D-Y-O-U.com. So I'll uh, spell that again. H y g i e n e a n d Y-O-U.com. So hygiene and you. And that's the name of my Facebook page as well. I'm available for a live chat. And I have a YouTube channel with that name as well, Hygiene and You. So awesome. if you want to watch some videos on cups and pads, they're all there. I'm on it. Well, yeah, one more thing. So we have a Facebook group as well. So it's a women's only group. And you can join that group, ask as many questions as you want about... Um, how to use a cup or what is it, how to select the right cup. Any question you have around it, we have around 2,000 members on that group. Some of them are using it, some are there to ask questions. So the group is called Menstrual Cups, Cloth Pads. And you can just search it on Facebook and join that group and ask as many questions as you want. That's great. And would you tag me in a lot of your posts um, because I do follow you a lot? And I would love to share your information on my other pages as well as my Instagram yes. um, and my Twitter page. Sure, I'll do that, definitely. Okay, well, we want to thank you so much. Thank you Priyanka. so much, Priyanka, for being on the show. We enjoyed having you and understanding and learning more about our ministry as a woman. Yes, this was this yeah. was really great. And I do want to continue this conversation with you because, like I said, this is not just a Colorado or California issue. Right. This is a woman's issue. Globally. And and we just want, it's not that it's really an issue. It's a part of our life. But we just need to learn how to handle this a lot better than what we have been. Um, and especially with our young girls coming up today. Right. And all the other things that are in our food and, you know, their breasts are being developed early earlier. And uh -huh. Their and bodies are looking more like yeah. women at a younger age. I think going back to yeah. our roots is very important. And what you're doing 
is a great job to bring your people back to where it all started from what their grandmothers used to do is very important. Yeah. Right. So I want to thank you so, thank so you, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it, thanks to you too for having me on the show. Yes. And we'll keep in touch. Yes, Most we definitely. will. When a young girl's body begins to change, it can be a scary and confusing experience. Introducing All Grown Up, the first period kit. Miss Sherry, wasn't Priyanka amazing? Actually, she was so informative. I mean, I thought that I was the queen of period (laughs) until I talked to her. Um, I I thought that was a really good interview with Priyanka. It it really was. And I can't wait to hear more about her products and, and even try her products myself. Well, you know, I would love to try it, but I can't because I am menopausal, so I cannot <laughs> try it. But um, she did mention that when you are going through premenopausal, that it's good to use because you just never know mm-hmm. when it's going to start and how long it's going to be. But yeah. um, for me, I'm, I'm OK with it. I'm good. <laughs> well, I'll let you know how it turns out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we want to thank you for tuning in to Faces of Success 101 FM. Truth for Youth talking all grown up with Miss Sherry and Miss Shalanda. Good to talk to you guys today.